Well, I'm Pete Nix, and I'm the producer and director of Stephen Curry Underrated here at Sundance 2023. My name is Marissa Torres Erickson. I'm with A24 and a producer on this documentary with um, Pete Nix. My name, my name is Sean Havey. I'm the producer and DP for this film. I am uh, Eric Payton. I am the producer and uh, I'm with the Unanimous Media. I don't know at what point we heard about this scouting report, but at some point uh, we, we saw it and actually it was shocking how far off, um, how he wasn't seen, how his, his potential wasn't seen, his talent wasn't seen. And they talk a lot in sport about sort of, in sports about the eye, eye test, you know, when you sort of look at someone and there, there's an immediate recognition often that this is an athlete, you know, like they're, they're tall, they're strong. Um, and and he, he, he never had that, and, and so that was something he had to over, overcome. But e even when you read through the report, it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty damning um, report to such that if I was an NBA coach, like I, you know, I'd be like, ooh, no, this is not something somebody I want to take a look at seriously. Yeah. yeah, early on we knew that that would be a good device to sort of establish the conflict, a very tangible device, um, because he was underrated, you know, as clearly defined in that report. Well, the SD... He uses all of it. He uses that report. He uses, you know, everything that the doubters to really sort of push through. But it's also within him. It's authentic to him. It's authentic to his journey. It's authentic to himself. So, you know, that's that's what really this film sort of speaks to. Um, really, his his grit, his grind, um, his passion um, to inspire not only through basketball but also through his journey. When A24 came on board this project, that's exactly how we felt. And we wanted to create a film and, and work with, you know, Pete is a director that he sits with his subjects. He really understands them. And we felt like this film, through this film, any viewer was going to be able to res resonate with Stephen Curry and, you know, hopefully achieve whatever dream that they're trying to achieve on their journey of life. Also chipping away at what allows an individual who is not seen, who is underrated, not heard, what allows that individual to achieve their potential? And that's when we sort of, as we started learning more about Stefan's story, a large part of which had not been told, which is his coming of age, um, not just as a, a young child, but at, at Davidson College, where he really became, you know, Stephen Curry, like the, 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 the idea of family, the idea of, of community, the, 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 what allows an individual to reach their full potential became a very strong um, uh, idea in, in the movie that we wanted to explore. I, will, I also wanted to just add that, um, you know, I think what's special about Stefan is he was able to sort of harness that, that doubt. And that, you know, to this day really fuels, you know, why he can go out there and, and play as hard as he does every day, day after day. You know, SC, you know, Stefan, he, he is exactly who you think he is, right? And, and, um, when you're around him, you see him, his, his, how he walks into every room, how he talks to every person, how he really genuinely wants to um, be there for the person that is in front of him. And I think like that, in my opinion, you know, Bob, you obviously you have to talk to him, but I feel like that's what allows him to really take on um, everything that he's that, that he's doing now between, you know, Unanimous, who he's the co-founder with me on, and, and, you know, doing doing the film, and obviously we've seen him in a ton of commercials, so it's like all those things are, are you know, really authentic to him being able to, to, to be himself and to be able to walk into these situations and to, and to know that the thing that is in front of me, that is the thing I'm going to dedicate 110%. And what we found, what we tried to sort of show in the, in the film, that despite... Um, all those initial things, like being the son of Del Curry, if Sonia Sony was a very accomplished athlete who both went to Virginia Tech, he was still un unable to get that first step. Virginia Tech didn't offer him a, D a D1 scholarship. You know, they offered him a walk-on slot, you know, which meant like, oh, well, we're not really sure about you. But, um, and that, that really is um, pretty remarkable given he was a quite an accomplished high school um, basketball player with that pedigree was still not enough because he didn't pass that eye test and, and that, that's one of the uh, things that we documented in, in the film.